What I love about wakeboarding, it's hard to describe. It's kind of, it's just who I am. It's what I, you know, it's who I'm supposed to be, I feel like. And but everything there is to do with wakeboarding, I love about it. That's why going through an injury, like when you, when it's something's your whole life and you've been doing it for so long, over 10 years and you know, you've been number one for, you know, many years and you know, you were learning tricks and you saw yourself accomplishing so much more, you get injured and to have that taken away is just, is, I would say the worst thing that's ever happened to me. You know, right before I got hurt, you know, it was, I had my best season I've had ever. And that was 2009. So, I mean, I won Queen of Wake. I was landing new tricks girls haven't landed before. And I was just having, it's crazy, because I was just having so much fun. And then I went into my 2010 season, uh, won the first three events, and um, was in the lead for the Queen of Wake, and then went to Dallas-Fort Worth, and it was the semifinal round, so not the finals, and I was last off the dock, because I was top seed, and um, you know, I had a good first pass, had a good second pass, and then of course my last trick I was doing before I came into the dock and I was done. Um, I mean, I thought I was going to land it in the air and just stomp the trick and, you know, it, it's hard to even think about now because it's just like just so unbelievable. But um, yeah, it took me down and ended up doing my ACL, my MCL, my PCL, my meniscus and my patella tendon, so pretty much all of them. I felt like I was heartbroken, honestly. And, um, I got home and my doctor said, you know what, if you want to be able to wakeboard again and do what you were doing at that high level. Um, I want you to go see uh, Andrew and Clancy's clinic in Alabama because they're specialists. This is a very, you know, not a common injury to tear all these multiple things. And not only did you tear them, but you, you know, you completely tore them. I knew how much work and how much would have to go into if I wanted to be back where I was. But there was never a doubt in my mind that I could do it. I just wanted to make sure, you know, I was going to be able to ride again and how long it was going to take. And then I think it was after surgery, I woke up and I was in the Dynasplint. The Dynasplint was awesome just when I got home because sleeping was just, you know, I thought it was just going to be ridiculous hard and just uncomfortable and, you know, that splint really helped me to feel secure and safe and you know any movement or twisting you know I, I'd know my knee would always be you know safe and secure. In the recovery kind of going up on the the upside of things um, Dynasplint actually could come and uh, help me out. I finally started being able to bend my knee more so it needed to be adjusted where I could uh, bend my knee and extend it um, which was an exciting day because it allowed me to start doing more movement. As far as flexibility goes, um, it's kind of crazy. I have a friend that had the same surgery, and he hasn't been so fortunate. As far as bending his knee, he can't bend it past, I think he's got like about there, and that's after almost a year and a half, and I'm already past that point. You know, the more people tell me, you know, are you even going to ride again, or are you going to start competing? And I almost take it offensively, because it's like, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? Like. It never crossed my mind. Like, Dr. Clancy, he told me when I came back to see him for the first visit after my surgery, he said, um, I said, well, what do you think overall? And he looks at me and he's just got a straight face and he nods his head and he's just like, girl, you must have someone up above watching over you because you're going to come back and you're going to be stronger than you were before. You know, finally I'm back on my board. It's kind of surreal to think that I'm back riding again. And it doesn't even feel like it's been eight months already, but I guess it has. And, you know, soon enough it's going to be, you know, right around the corner it's going to be a year and I'm going to be competing and, you know, back in the game. And I know my capabilities and I know I haven't met them yet and I can achieve a lot more. And uh, I feel like the doctors and um, AJ and the rehab and 
you know, the healing process and having the Dyna Splint and listening. Right now, I feel like I could tell people they haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs>